Hey there, Val here to let you know that this is part three, the final part in our Vast and Starlet special. If you haven't listened to the first two parts already, please go do that first as we recorded this all in one session and it will make a lot more sense if you listen to them in order. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the episode. So, um, yeah. so Honey like kind of like cautiously like steps towards Jensen now, now with this new knowledge that he has a gun, um, <laughs> and says, "Hey there, chap. Um, how, how you been? Hi there, Honey. I have a gun now. I heard. I heard. Um, are you enjoying it? <laughs> oh, I haven't done anything with it yet. Would you? Would you like to see me try is, it out? Is, uh, no, no, I, I think this is actually quite are, a good... Are you good, sure? Are you sure? I'm, are you sure? I'm sure. I'm really I, think, I think you should save your ammo for an emergency. I think right now we are just relaxing. This is a good position to be in and nothing, nothing is wrong. Um, so you know how um, everything's wrong and our ship has no fuel? Yeah. Well, I didn't notice there was anything wrong with it. I knew we were out of fuel, but there's something wrong? What's wrong? That, well, the, f- the fuel is kind of what's wrong. Um, oh, you know, cause well, no I, fuel. I understand. Do you, you want to drink it as well? No, no, I, I'm, I'm of a different taste. Um, I don't, well, um, you know, if we don't have any fuel, then we can't really go anywhere now, can we? And then, you know... We run out of food, we... What was that? Right, well, um, anyways, no fuel, no food, um, no, no visiting our loved ones, um, no, no nothing, um... You have loved ones? What's a... Well... (laughs) What is that? I mean, that's, that's something to be sorted out later, um, I think, I think, you know, I think once we have enough fuel to travel, I think I know what I will be doing, but, um... Anyways, right now, right now, our our idea, um, your wife and I, um, we have discussed, and we think it would be a kind gesture to clean out Atticus's ball pit for them to, you know, play around in, um, you, and that would help with the love. Been, you've been talking to my wife. Just in a, just in a nice, nice, you know, platonic way, you know, just, uh, you know, chatting as one does. I don't believe you. Dangerous. <laughs> Jensen has a gun. And, and retrieves the gun. Um, honey, honey, like, puts her hands up and she's like, no, no, I don't think, um, I don't think we have to go there. Um, if you, how about, how about this? How about you go talk to your wife about it? I imagine you'll trust her opinion. A lot more than mine, and... When you... Who trusts their wife's opinion? <laughs> You're a very confusing person, honey. Now I see why, um... Why... You know what, never mind, no, I don't want to add fuel to the fire, um... So, I... Listen, I don't, I don't have to talk to your wife again for some time. If you Ever. will just... If you will just help us clean the ball pit for Atticus... We can be on our way. How is that going to and how is that going to help me at all? If I if I clean the bulb, what does that do for me? Uh, that's a great question. Um, first of all, the ship will have fuel, which is good because then we won't die. Um, but also, you know, this isn't just my idea. This is this is also Friday's idea. So I think I think if you help us, your your wife will actually be quite pleased. Um, she'll be quite happy you're helping pleased. out. What was that? My wife is never pleased. Well, maybe she could be. You, you don't know. Maybe you think you know my wife better than I do. No, I don't. Dangerous again. <laughs> <laughs> Honey's gonna die. <laughs> um, in my mind, um, no matter what happens, dangerous is always in quotes. Um, in this situation, because I don't think uh, Jensen knows how to turn the safety off. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> It's um, only perceived danger, it's not actual. 
And he says, okay, okay, um, we don't, listen, this isn't, this isn't about your marriage, this isn't about your wife, this is about Atticus, right? And, um, this is about not dying in a horrific spaceship crash, right? Um, so I think that if we just do this one thing, just clean out the ball pit, we can move on and it'll all be okay. And you, you will not, you will not need to use that, that gun right now. Right? Well, can I, can I tell you something, honey? Go, go ahead. And he kind of like switches his posture a little bit to match Friday's. And he goes, this, this hair, I love this gun. It, it sure is a shiny, shiny gun, honey. It is, um, isn't it? And you know, I, I can do a lot of things with this gun. I imagine. Yeah. But you don't, you don't have to. You know that, right? I think I do, though. And I don't, I don't see, and what good would you get out of it? One less, the, the fuel would go down, well, for sure, well, right? If you kill me, the fuel would go down, for sure. That, that'd be that one less correct. person. What was that? Well, honey. That is correct. <laughs> well, honey, I have so much love stored, stored in me. And if, if this is like, right, have you ever played a video game, honey? Um, my kids have, yes. I, I'm aware if of I, Okay. If I kill you and I just go and I stand on your dead body, I will, I will, all of your experience points will come to me. So I'll get all of the love in you and it comes to me. I get all the love. Right. Sh- ship, is that correct? No comment. <laughs> well, Nobody we can't... Can. We, can't, we can't quite prove that, so I think it's, it's the safer bet for now if we just, you know, clean the ball pit, maybe. No, no death. Maybe for now. Honey, can I tell you a secret before I kill you? I mean, if you, if the secret is followed by me dying, then no. Well, here's my secret for you anyways before I kill you. I've never cleaned anything ever in my life. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Can you at least stand there and watch while we do it? Just, just, to, just to help with the little percent thing. All right. I don't want you to die. You convinced me. <laughs> only, <laughs> only... Only if after 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 we finish, I will only agree to do this if afterwards I get to shoot somebody with my gun. Does it have to be a fatal shot? Can you can you shoot like in in the foot or something? I kind of want you know. Can I be honest with you, honey? It could go right ahead. All right. I really want to just shoot the wall. Of this spaceship and see what happens. I mean, I don't, I don't think that would be very good for it. I don't think the ship would appreciate that. But I mean, I, I'd rather, I'd rather you shoot the ship and not me, if that counts for anything. He sits there and he like, <laughs> he like, he puts the gun in his pocket and he crosses his arms and he very like animatedly taps his foot and thinks for a second. And he's like. Well, as long as I get to... Wait, okay, I just got an idea, honey. Can I can I surprise you with something really quick? I guess. <laughs> okay, he picks up a gun. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, and then he... Oh, I thought someone was going to call danger. I didn't practice. Both. I, did... <laughs> I don't know what Both. I was going to do. Both. Both. Um, okay, so that, that, Lauren, you just have to tell them how they failed. Um, the <laughs> safety was in fact off, and it was, uh, aimed at the wall, but the safety was off. Well, right. <laughs> Bloody hell. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone, I think the three of you meeting in the ball pit. Atticus is off doing something, I don't know what. 
Yeah. I think you three in, in the ball pit room. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said someone could do it's you said someone could do a scene on their own? Uh yeah, if someone calls it. Actually, you know what? Can we have a little bit of Friday monologue time while this scene is happening? No, that's yes. not what I mean. You just <laughs> It doesn't have to be long. I won't make you I, uh, Okay, I'll do it. Um, where are- can I get a- can I get an update on where we are? Why don't you start on the bridge? Just- just waiting for something to happen. While those two were talking? Were they- did I say they were on the bridge? I think you're in the Homestuck bathroom, um, calming yourself down. Is Homestuck- wait, okay, I thought Yeah, Homestuck... there's two. There's oh, okay. Two. I it's thought Homestuck was the shoe. Yeah, so did I. Still. Oh, well, maybe it, why can't it be both? That's true, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, Friday. Okay, Friday. Yeah, you, I mean, you're used to cleaning up other people's shit, but never not, never this literally. All right. <sighs> so you got your husband. He's got a gun. Can I swear? Okay. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> sorry. I think that hit me really, really on a delay. You're okay. Um, <laughs> so you got your husband. He's got a gun that is never a good combination. And he has also, notably, never cleaned anything the entire time we've been married. It's great. It's great. Ship that runs on love. You know, I was really not gambling on that one. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. So. Can clean the space God knows what out of the ball pit. Thank you, honey, for not checking on that. <sighs> and we can keep flying. We could fix a marriage, if not mine and Jensen's, and who knows? Because you know, you can only, you can, you can only do the, you can only lose so many bottles of detergent. Okay, so we're gonna go down there. You're gonna clean the ball pit, just like cleaning out the stalls, just like cleaning out the cows. It's just exactly like that. It's not any different. At all. There's nothing to be worried about. Seed. <laughs> I'll save you. <laughs> oh, wait, I was about to do no! something. Oh. Jess, you could take him if you want. Or I was going to say dangerous. Okay. In what way? <laughs> Your superpowers act up. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot about Friday's superpowers. <laughs> oh, no, not my... My fire hands. Oh. <laughs> Good news, the ship is made out of glass. Does... <laughs> All right, uh, Jess, are you ending the scene on, oh no, Friday? No, I thought Val said something and then my computer uh, yeah, glitched yes. out. Okay, Jess, so... <laughs> hey, your turn. Okay, I want to do a scene... Um, what is even... I want to do... Uh, I, want, I want Jensen to go to Atticus before, before he cleans the pit. Okay. Where? Uh, Super Who Lock. I'm in my Super Who Lock corner. Alright. Yeah. Hello, Atticus. Hi, dipshit. <laughs> Alright, well... I was... <laughs> I came here to warn you about something that I thought you might need to know about. Warn me? Yes, funny boy, warn you. Warn me? Yes. Who's the funny boy now? There's nothing wrong with this ship. I thought you and you and Friday were gonna go down, down to engineer and take care of it. <laughs> go down? No. How, how explicit of you, funny boy? No, I was going to come and warn you that your your private sanctum, your very special little place on the ship, uh, where you like to bathe in feces, they're going to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> I now listen. 
<laughs> now you listen you listen here, little man. All right, I'm listening. I might have had that alpha beta omega kidding scandal, but that does not mean I like to <laughs> Oh no Well it's what you've been doing this whole time, mate. What do you mean? What do you mean what do I mean? <laughs> I, I don't have I don't have the faintest clue what you're speaking about. <laughs> all right, well, all right, sit down. I'll place I, my I, hand I, on. I am sitting. I am already sitting in the in the I corner. I place my hand on their shoulder and I get oh, down on no. a knee beside them. Oh. And I go. Listen, listen here, funny boy. I. Honey boy. Funny boy. Oh. <laughs> I haven't heard that <laughs> one. <laughs> right. Sometimes in life we hear things that make us upset. Right? Yes. Well, I, I know. I, I, I said a lot of those things live on air. Yes. You right. know when they, when they, uh, they legalized reading again? That hurt a lot of people's feelings and I decided I had to take that into my own hands. I know. I know. Anyway, touched a firework in so long, Lord I, No, I'm not putting up with this. I came here to tell you some things, and I don't want you crying on my arm. This is the finest okay. silk, right? No one isn't. <laughs> it's really scratchy. Wow. I have a gun. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Um. This is going so wrong so quickly. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna let me talk, or do, or does my gun yes. need to do talking? I don't think you can use that, but I'll be quiet now. You're walking on thin ice, mate. Right. Mm. So, sometimes in life, people say things that make us upset that we may not agree with. Like when you came in here and said hello. Do I do I need to remind you? Of the gun. No, no, I, I, that, that was a, that was a funny bit. Uh, you could you you could keep going. I, I was no, I because I was joking. Uh, that sure, was, you that were was, funny was that boy. was a joke. That was that was a joke. Should I nickname you unfunny boy? Because I'm not laughing at all here. <laughs> no, no, I like it. I like it. It was I was no. It was a bit. It was a bit. It was a bit. I believe you. You have a gun. Mm -hmm. Right. So we hear things that we don't agree with and that make us unhappy. So sometimes we choose to deny them. And right now, it's not the time to do the denying. Okay. So I need to tell you that it's okay to like to roll around in feces. I don't What roll is not okay feces. is lying about it. I don't roll around in feces. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> As you kiss. I am offended. <laughs> Listen, I can take, I can take being called any number of kinny, kinny things on, on live radio. <laughs> this I will not stand for. What are you talking about? I have been called, I have been called, I have been called a Daniel Jacoby kid in my life. <laughs> I can take that one. I would never knowingly roll around and shit. <laughs> Now, listen, listen, Atticus. Have you ever heard of a thing called sinning? Uh, that, like, kinning with an S? <laughs> okay, so like kinning with an S, yeah. <laughs> that was such a long pause of silence, what the fuck? <laughs> Sometimes we need to take a step back. And realize that lying is a sin. Like, okay. I I came here to make you feel better because I know they're about to destroy your Omega home full of feces. If you I want to lie to Omega. <laughs> Why is nobody stopping me? Because <laughs> I don't know if it... <laughs> There's no end in yet. sight to this. <laughs> I can't believe Jess decided for my character that they liked it. <laughs> I can't. Atticus. Yes. Um, Small man. I cock the gun. 
<laughs> dangerous. Oh, that's impressive. Oh, foul call dangerous. Um, I think, I think, um, Jensen tries to cock the gun too hard and it hurts his hand okay. real bad. Can I play the ship? Oh my god. Because there is <laughs> yeah. one piece of this that we have forgotten about. Oh my um, god. But continue. Okay, oh, go ahead. Beautiful hand. Well, that's what happens when you cock a gun at a person. Breach in lower deck. Breach in lower deck. Bullet hole. What is on the lower? What? There was, the the safety was off and it was aimed at the wall. And there was an oh shit moment. I assume that's what it was. If we want, if that wasn't it, then we could cut it out. But. I assume the safety was on. And he didn't know no, how to it turn was it off. off. No, the safety. Yeah, and uh, and Jensen shot the wall. Yeah. Oh. The glass wall. Now, now, little man, what did you do with your gun? I didn't do anything with my gun. Nobody let me. People like you. People who like to hurt my beautiful, beautiful man hands. Now, I'm gonna say this one more time. What did you do? With why your, we, why what did you do with your gun? And why is the ship yelling at us about it? What did you do with your gun? And why is the ship yelling Jensen at us about it? Jensen shot a hole why do you, why? in the glass wall of the ship. You did what? Why would you believe a robot over me, your best friend? That's rude. We're best friends? <laughs> yes, we're hey, best be friends. be nice to her. Who kisses her Who ship? else are you talking what? to, Atticus? <laughs> Hello. I am Atticus's best friend. Yeah. The ship. Yeah. We're tight. It always goes back to the mechanisms. (laughs) It always goes back. I have, in fact, seen Atticus do the unspeakable ball pit things. No, no, no. Hey, I'm going to revoke your best friend privileges. You don't have that power over me. No, no. Ship, ship, keep talking. Ship, keep talking. What do you mean? There is a breach in oxygen. On the lower level. We're going, we are going down to the lower level. I don't need oxygen. And I just remembered I'm a fish person. <laughs> just swimming in shit. No. <laughs> okay. So I called the end. It makes it a lot worse. Uh, <laughs> so you get to decide what happens next. Well, let me think on that for a second, buddy, because I have to go in like 25 minutes. Um, yeah, I, Wait, this is the, the I think I think this is the climax. This is the climax. Mm-hmm. I think they all need to go down to the and s- and save them the breach together. and do a power of friendship to save the the oxygen supply and it's going to be such a bonding moment that it will fix it. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's sure. see yeah. how this goes. It's definitely going to go. All great. right. So this is all of us. So everyone, yes. All right. Now. What in radio God's name? Jansen? I, to, to be fair, I, I told him. I told him he shouldn't use the gun. And I shouldn't have given him I the gun, he but he shouldn't. should know not to shoot a hole in the damn wall, Jansen. You taught him how to use a I, gun? Of course I taught my partner in crime how to use a gun. What, you think he was going to get his, his little fancy boy... <laughs> his fancy boy safety scissors out? And, and rob a bank? Yeah. Yeah, you try that. Well, he's got three raccoons. I thought that They're would be enough. They're not like feral attack raccoons. Don't be ridiculous. Only cows are useful that Don't way. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Guys, I, okay. I, I think that we should focus. Because I know, I know not all of us here breathe oxygen. I do. I, um, I occasionally, I partake. <laughs> Is it, is it like a drug to you? you, you it's like a, it's like a party me. party thing to you. No, no, I that was that was a bit like like fish fish do breathe oxygen. I'm a little special. Uh, right. I've I've got I've got extra parts to right. breathe, All but right. like I do breathe oxygen. All right, that All was right. a joke. I, sometimes I'm too deadpan. <laughs> Is that is that why you got arrested? No, no, I I won't add fuel. No, to No, I got arrested for setting off fireworks in the library. Um, I thought that was a. I thought that was a joke. You actually. I don't believe in reading. <laughs> well, okay. I don't. I don't think we have time to 
argue. We over gotta this. tape up the whole. We, we or can something. talk about. We can talk about. We can talk about books later. We have duct tape. Uh, I mean, it's better than nothing while we find an alternative. Uh, anyone see duct tape around here? All I know is we got a ton of flowers. I, I step duck. away. I step away from the party for a moment, and I lean. I I get on my knees on the floor, and I take my hat off. <sighs> Wet and wild. This is the moment you've been waiting for your whole life. I'm going to shove your raccoon in the back. <laughs> and I know. I know. This is going to be really hard for me. As well as your two other... You see, better shove his raccoon into that hole. That I don't remember the names of. But Vivian and Jeremy. <laughs> Vivian and Jeremy. But in the name of of everything, I think you need to save the day, wet and wild. Can you do that for me? (laughs) Mercutio? I don't know know how raccoons (laughs) that. But so I give my raccoon... What were you about to do, Luca? Oh, I made a little... Oh. I don't think that's what raccoons sound like. Maybe a space raccoon does. <laughs> so I'll lean in. Maybe a space Maybe. raccoon does. So I get up and I walk towards the team again and silently, without speaking a word to anybody, I stand in front of the hole and you guys see me look at my hat again and you see me lean into my hat and I kiss my raccoon sweetly <laughs> on the lip. On the mouth? And then I, I shove it. You kiss your wife's <laughs> lip? I shove it in the hole. I shove my raccoon in the hole. Breach secured. Ch- Jensen. <laughs> well. Did you just sacrifice wet and wild to save our lives? I did. I, oh I think at the end of the day, though. So this thing runs on love, right? I'm. Oh, uh, I should probably. Oh. You start moving again. Just very slowly. Through through the void of space, start moving very slowly, and I'm gonna get back into what I was saying. You know, we're, you know, you, you fix the the hole and the. We gotta, we're moving again. But I'm gonna be honest, Jensen, I still don't like you. I, I don't even think it was me. I don't think I I. I don't think I contributed a single percent of that fuel, how, but the love that how, you and Wet and Wild shared. How dare you? Really admirable. How how dare you? No, call no, I'm well, not well, seeing well, it well, as a mean thing. How, Wet and Wild just you, saved our lives. You called me Jensen. Lord? What do you, do you prefer a little man? Only my best friends can call me Jensen, and you said you didn't want to be my best friend anymore. So I would prefer you refer to me as Lord Jensen Jarvis, Aloysius, Augustine, Maximilian, Rupert, Edmund, Cedric, Von Marius, Desmond, Constantine, Remington the Third. Okay, little man, little man, I wish you had <laughs> a nice moment with Wet and Wild in her final moments. <laughs> But I can see that that's not going to happen. <laughs> honey, honey, like interjects and like puts a hand on Jensen's shoulder and is like, "Well, listen, I've, I've lost things before too, and I think that was, I think that was very brave of you. And you know what? Um, I um, I think that I I, I admire your 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 courage, and maybe you know maybe this has taught me that I don't need to um, justify um myself to my ex wife um maple syrup um I don't think you know I think. <laughs> I forgot to drop her name, by the way. Her name, the wife's name is Maple Syrup. They're both, they're both, um, sweet syrups. Anyways, um, I, you know, maybe, maybe I don't need to go back to my ex-wife. Maybe, you know, maybe we have something here. Is, is the ship speeding up at all? Is this doing anything? Um, yes. <laughs> the ship is speeding up and Friday, um, her eye catches a roll of deck tape that is sitting in the corner of this section and then kind of looks over at, like, the raccoon gasping out its last. (laughs) (laughs) And just sort of kicks it away and looks over at her 
At her husband. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, Jansen. I did. I appreciate it. We would have died. I mean, you really didn't have to jump straight to the raccoon cork. But, in other <laughs> words, <laughs> you... It takes a lot of love Can to I do tell you a secret, darling? Always. Can I tell you a secret, darling? Always. I used to have four raccoons. Jansen, what it, what happened to the I, the... I didn't know about this fourth one. We've been married quite a few times. What happened to that raccoon? <laughs> Jansen. Remember that one time on our 19th divorce? Where you threw me out of the house and told me to sleep in, in the void of space. Yeah, I remember. I was so heartbroken. And you left me out there for so long. That. In my grief. <laughs> Jensen? In my grief. I tried to wed myself to the raccoon. But before I could, a miniature black hole came up and swallowed him whole. Just a little one, only big enough <laughs> to fit a raccoon. <laughs> there it is. Honey. Jansen, bring it in. Bring it in. And as you move in to hug and you see planets in the distance. I'm trying to make this really pretty. <laughs> I don't know why. We just shoved a raccoon into a, <laughs> into a glass hole. And saved the day! Um, but the day has been saved and you are zooming off through the stars yet again. That went to so many places! Yeah, that did not go a single place I expected it to go. My guy was supposed to be fancy and, like... <laughs> you made... <laughs> there was a lot of, like, very Quentin Tarantino dialogue happening. Um, I don't know what I was expecting from it wasn't this, but that. it wasn't that. Um, so I yeah, guess we should... I'm either. very excited for whoever has to make the transcript for this. I was thinking about that about no. halfway in. Yeah, no, I'm really scared of it. That's gonna be a joint effort, I think. Um, that, if you made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. See, that was said very hesitantly. I did have fun. fun. I had fun. Yeah, It didn't same. go a single place I assumed it would when I set out with the idea of our engine is maybe broken, but you know what? This worked as well. <laughs> That's the power of love. That's the power of love. I don't want to get copyrighted by Huey Lewis in the news. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna have we're gonna have the link to get the game in the de in the episode description. Luca, I don't know if you want to add on to that at all. Um, I can I can name drop again. Um, so again, this is Fast and Starlet by Epidiah Ravichel, and we will be, again, linking it in the description. Yeah, um, so, just some official podcast things, um, season two of The Heart of Ether is coming out August 13th, and this is some of our, this is some of our bonus content in between then, um, our first trailer should be out by the time this comes out, um, we have a second trailer coming out, I don't know if that'll be out by then. Um, but anyways, if you want to help support us, you can always talk about the show using hashtag hard to beat their pod. You can support us on, you can buy us a coffee. Um, you can buy our teas, um, from Adigo Teas. You can follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at Heart of Ether. And we are, this was a lot of fun and we are very much looking forward to season two. So thank you for listening. Thank Cheers. you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.
Thank you for tuning in to our Vast and Starlet special. If you made it this far, then congratulations, you're stronger than most. Next up on the feed is going to be our second season two trailer, and then the season officially begins. Can't wait to see you then. The Heart of Ether is a podcast made by Three-Eyed Frog Presents. This special features Val West, Luca Miller, Jesse Smith, and Lauren Tucker. Music is produced by Luca Miller. Vast and Starlet is created by Epa Dyer Ravichel. To follow the show and find transcripts, you can follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at Heart of Ether. Questions and comments can be emailed to us at heartofether at gmail.com. Want to help support the show? Rate and review us on iTunes and Podchaser, and talk about the show using hashtag Heart of Ether Pod. If you want to support us financially, consider buying us a coffee. It really does help. Thank you for listening.